What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to Steve Does Stuff. Today we are getting the truck ready for its maiden voyage. We are doing winter truck camping stuff. With ice. It was cold. So the first order of business is, this thing's been in here for a little while, got a little dirty. So I'm going to be cleaning it out. Also got, I also got some Reflectix, which I'm going to be making uh, covers for the windows. Uh, sides, front and back to keep this baby warm. For the windows in the back, this is about as high tech as it gets. It's a super quick cardboard stencil. We're gonna be using this stuff called Reflectix. Everybody online says this is the shit. It's basically just like aluminum bubble wrap. So we use this for sizing and then cut this to shape. First window cover done. Fortunately, these are the same size left to right. Not the best corner, but not a big deal. So we're gonna make the other side, the front, and then the back might be a bit of a challenge. So we made it to somewhere on Lake Erie. Wasn't where I was originally planning on going. The spot where I was going to go was in Port Maitland and that was not plowed. So we're at a provincial park close by. Not a lot of people have been around here. So hoping that nobody bothers us. Although I've seen quite a, a lot of police around here. So this is the camping setup before it gets set up. Got the Reflectix got to put up, mattress, two sleeping bags, my heater and stuff will be set up shortly. For the first time ever, uh, Reflectix has been cut. Just don't have them all in yet. Put down this little foam pad over everything because I felt like it would make life easier rolling around in there. Got my heater, got my bag of clothes, got my food, and then just a really small thermo rest. There's not a lot of headroom in there, so this keeps it a little bit better, but I'm gonna go wander around along the shore and see what I can see. There's not really much place to walk. i cruise along the shore, see what I can see. Definitely don't want to go out on that, so I'm gonna go through there. Nobody's coming to find me. But it is very windy. Not too bad, it's only minus four. But it's pretty cool seeing all this stuff. All right, so it's getting dark. The sun's going down behind me. So it's time to cook some dinner. going to be making Mongolian beef udon, except uh, a bit of an interesting twist on it. I'm going to be using some organic, cruelty-free, naturally harvested venison that I shot last fall. So it's Mongolian Canadian venison udon. So. I actually pre-made a lot of this. I've got my veggies and noodles, I've got my beef that's been marinating, i got my sauce, and i got a little bit of salt and pepper. So first things first, I'm going to get this meat in the pan and start to brown it up a little bit. Right now it's about minus four, going down to minus 10 tonight. I feel like minus 17 with the wind whipping, so looking forward to that. Kale, peppers, carrots in there, sauce. Starting to look pretty good. It is officially starting to get cold. Uh, it's probably about Getting down to minus five, minus eight. Not technically supposed to be here, but it's the middle of winter. Nobody's gonna bother me. Not bad. Okay, that is officially good enough. Inside. Huh. Hot. Damn, that's hot. I was worried that it might have melted my awesome flooring in here. 
but luckily I put it under one of these babies. Got the heat going. Most of the Reflectix is up, except for the back window. Shit. Forgot to put that one up. Just don't know if I want to get out to do it or not. It's about 6.30 in the morning. Did sleep too bad. I ended up waking up, up about every two hours. Not because I was cold, just because it was cold. Um, I was never shaking or shivering or anything like that through the night, but I would just wake up because I was not running the heater at night and it was just cold. My face was cold, but the rest of my body wasn't necessarily cold. So I turned the heater on for 15, shut it off, and then I go back to sleep for about two hours. But I'm wearing sweatpants, long underwear, big fuzzy socks, a base layer on my top, a sweater, a jacket, a hat, and two sleeping bags that are around. They're not the warm enough, warmest bags in the world. I think they're about two five degree bags and it, it just wasn't quite enough so I'm probably gonna get up soon and take off but overall not bad but I I think I need a heater in here to run all night or some better sleeping bags I got a little frosty last night that glass is very frosty So, first night in the truck, not bad at all. You can see all the water, and all the ice at the bottom here. I have my jacket over the base of me to keep my feet warm. And my water is frozen. I left my boots outside overnight, but I brought my liners in. Bad out here. Take these guys away. There we go. I was going to cook breakfast here, but it's cold. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go find a coffee somewhere. How cold is it? Huh, minus six, not bad. All right, thanks for following along for the first truck camping adventure. I'm gonna go get a McMuffin and a coffee. See you next time.